Greetings, my beautiful family. Welcome to Nanabe's Kitchen. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing great. Hey, so today I am bringing you my detailed tutorial on how to can at home. Canning is a method of preserving food. And most times people don't think you can do that at home, but you can, and that's the purpose of this video. So I'm bringing you an easy to follow tutorial on how to can right in your home without using fancy equipment. So you need some mason jars, which come with lids that are screwed on and provide an airtight seal because they're in two sections. One is hollow, and the other segment is flat with a silicone layer on the edge that helps to vacuum seal when it's applied. You can find these mason jars on amazon.com. That's where I got mine. And the great thing about these mason jars is that they are reusable. So you can keep canning forever. <laughs> All right, now you also need a lid picker. This has a magnet end, so it's able to pick the lid just like that from when you're sterilizing it in the hot water, and you can go in with your fingers. This is also a tongue, and it has a silicone layer on the part that you use to pick the hot mason jar from the hot water when you're sterilizing and after you're done canning and it grips on perfectly because of the silicone, so there is no slippage that can cause breakage. Just like so. And your canning lid picker, as well as the tongue come together, and you can find them on amazon.com. That's where I got mine. You also need a stock pot, and pretty much that is all she wrote in terms of the equipment needed. Now in your stock pot, you're going to place some water in there about halfway, bring it to a boil, and we're going to start our canning process or our canning tutorial by first sterilizing our mason jars. Using the canning tongue, you're going to grip each jar one at a time, obviously, and then you're going to go into the hot water and fill each jar up with the hot water. So you're going to tilt it slightly so that water can get into the jar and then let it sit uprightly just like that. Then you're going to also throw the lids in both segments. Make sure that they are all submerged and utilize the non-magnetic end of your can lid picker to get that accomplished and then cover it and let it boil for 15 minutes and that should sterilize your jars so they should be now germ free okay from the packaging they came in now you're going to go back in with the tongue pick up a jar at a time tilt it to empty it and then set the jar in your plate rack in this case, I'm just using my dish washer as my plate rack. Now, you want to make sure that they are turned upside down in the plate rack so they can continue to drain any water that was left behind. Also keep in mind that the jars are still very hot, so they will dry completely, and in case they come into contact with any germs in the plate rack, they will completely be destroyed because they are still very hot. Use a clean kitchen towel to help grip the jars to place them upside down in the plate rack. So to can, you want to first sterilize your jars, all right? That is a very important step and it is not skippable. Now you're gonna go in with your lid pickers. See how the magnet just picks the lid out of the hot water? Place them also in the uh, dish rack or plate rack so they can drain any excess water and they should also stay clean and germ free because they're still hot in the plate rack now we're done with the sterilizing part 
of our canning process. Canning is easy to do, but it's streamlined. So you have to keep things really clean and it's a step-by-step -step streamlined process. So first thing you wanna do is sterilize all your tools and equipments um, for the canning process. So I have this funnel here that also needs to be sterilized, all right? Because that's how I'm going to be transferring my item that I'm going to be canning into the mason jars in a clean manner and without causing any spillage or create a mess. Now, I made some mackerel in tomato sauce. This recipe has been shared previously. You must check it out, and that's what I'm canning today. You can can anything in a sauce. Anything that has liquid in it, you can literally can. There is um, a study that you want to do. You want to read about canning, though, before you get into it because there is a particular pH level that whatever it is you're canning must have before you can it so that you have a long shelf life. Per the research, the reading, and the study I have done on canning, I have found that the lower your pH level, so the acidic, the, uh, the canning product is, the longer the shelf life, all right? So if you have something that's acidic and has a, a lower pH level, like this mackerel that is in tomato sauce because tomato sauce does ha have a high uh, content of acid, then it will have a longer shelf life. But you can literally can anything, acidic or alkaline. Now you're going to place the lid on, but before you do that, you want to use a clean towel to clean the uh, the rim of the jars before you apply the vacuum seal lid and then screw the hollow part on. Now that's done. When you screw the hollow part on, it does not have to be screwed on too tightly, I find, but it has to be screwed on tight enough to prevent the boiling water from seeping into the jars. Now you're going to place the jar one at a time using your canning tongue into the boiling water. Place the lid on, and this is on medium heat. You're going to boil your canned goods for 45 minutes. Now I have canned on this channel before, and I got some comments that made me go back and read some more. And I found that that helps to prevent the jars from breaking. Now, I didn't use it. I didn't have any breakage, um, thank God. But next time I do some canning, I'll try that. So just keep that in mind. Now, after 45 minutes or even an hour, you would have reached the completion of your canning process. Any germs are dead, dead. They should be dead to you. <laughs> There's no way any germ can survive all of this heat, friends. So take them out using the canning tongue, and that's all she wrote. And as your canned goods sit to cool down before you place them in your pantry, don't be surprised when you hear the lids popping. It is a very good indication of proper canning. I hope you've learned a thing or two and are inspired to can the next time you prepare something in a big batch. Make it a great day and have fun, especially Thank in that Thank you, kitchen. beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well also watch more videos it is chop time and here in anava's kitchen chop time is always yes friends so pull up a chair we are all friends and family here